So, ladies and gentlemen, it is the 24th of April at 10.04 p.m. Um, I should have been in bed by now or watching an anime film, which I was about to do. And then this story cropped up and I was so pissed when I saw it. All I can say is Sony are the biggest bunch of cucks that I've ever known. Honestly, Sony can't seem to want to stick to their own principles, their own morals, but oh no, no, this time instead of Blade, it's actually a racist game because you're not content with it being sexist or it's too violent. But apparently now, even though two days ago, I posted a video saying um, the game is gonna be uncentered in any region you buy the game in, but apparently now, and I'm curious to see if this patch that Sony has already implemented will go across all the regions, including my nether regions, because quite seriously, folks, I don't even think I'm going to play the game anymore. I still support Shift Up. I still support sexy female characters in my games. But seriously, when you see this... Come again. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. In Advent Children, she has larger eyes and a rounder face, with a remake backlash resulting in some Japanese players to complain that she is long-faced with angular features, going as far to claim that she now looks like a Western man. <laughs> White chicks. Dr. Taylor. Wait a minute. Are you telling me this isn't Dr. Taylor? Hmm. Guess I have to cancel my two o'clock appointment then. <laughs> Dubbing some gay art house erotica. This was supposed to be a mistake! They need a doctor or something! They need help! Don't worry. There's better for you. And it's right here. Come here! No, I wanted you for so long! <laughs> Something's here. Who is this hero? Could this really be it? Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog came here to motorboat fun bags and kick ass, and he's all out of titties. It's a f***ing video game. If you don't know what's been going on, so this screenshot here from Stellar Blade. Now, actually, I was playing the game again tonight, and funny enough, I've actually had problems with that game because, and just let me get my camera back on, folks. Boy, I'm really absolutely pissed off today. I really am. Where are we now? Video capture device. Here I am. Ta-da! So, yeah, I was playing Stellar Blade or replaying it again tonight, and I've had a few problems, actually, with my Elgato capture card because the signal keeps going out after about half an hour. It gets really hot as well, which I'm not really impressed with for such an expensive piece of kit. So I'm probably going to return it to Amazon in due course. And the other thing as well is that, again, you know, we're talking about a Sony exclusive that... You know, when Shift Up were, had gone to Sony because one of the representatives was in South Korea and they met up and they formed an alliance and uh, the game, you know, Sony agreed to take on the game and here we are. So here is the fuss because Eve on the level of a game and I saw this, this is like in the first 45 minutes of the game, you know, she's walking and I saw this earlier on, um, Hard R. Now, again, this would fly over my head, which it did initially, because I've actually heard this phrase every now and then. For those of you who are not sure what that actually means, it's a racist slang term for the N-word. So the way that they actually tried to make that a less offensive term, but it actually became more offensive. So instead of the word now, the N-word being spelt with an A at the end, Basically, the other version ought to use the N-word, if you want to get your point across, is to use the phrase hard R, because E-R, uh, you know, N then E-R at the end. You can figure it out yourself. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure most of my audience, you lovely people out there, know exactly where I'm coming from. So, you know what? You know, there are problems with me and my setup at the moment playing the game. I can play uh, without connecting it to um, my my Elgato capture card, but I might try an alternative method and see if that works out better. But honestly, I'm not kidding, guys. I'm thinking about cancelling my order anyway, just because Sony are a bunch of morons. 
Uh, and in fact, some people here have said, like this brewer said, a crime shop. Why is Sony openly supporting criminality and the destruction of society? This is basically Sony saying they are pro-murder grums. Remember when their favorite go-to was people will die from this? <laughs> and of course, Nev G, uh, stop listening to game journos. They are part of the problem in the gaming industry. They cannot be trusted because they don't review games as games. Very true. They review them from a political lens. We just want to have fun and escape. And that's the problem, you see, because again, game journos are saying this is an offensive term. You've got to remove it, Sony. They're the ones who are perceiving it as racist. Anybody who played through the game in its initial demos didn't say a single dicky bird. Why did any other streamer or content creator not mention that? That it's, oh, this could be a bit of a an uneasy alliance if we're going to allow a South Korean studio who definitely were not being intentionally racist. It's just something that looked good and they thought they'll just put it in the gameplay. But apparently now, hard R in a South Korean video game apparently is a very racist term and it's going to offend Western players everywhere. Well, I tell you what, Sony, I've got your PlayStation 5 right in front of me. And no, I'm not going to do the thing of smashing up to pieces because then I don't get my refund. But I'm seriously considering returning the damn thing anyway, uh, because it does get hot very quickly. And also, it's just... The fact I was looking forward to playing Stellar Blade. Originally, I wasn't actually going to even play the game. I just wanted to support a sexy female character because we haven't seen that for a long time, have we? And now I just have this bittersweet pill in my mouth and I'm thinking, Sony just have to bow down to activist mind hives out there. Everything is sexist. Everything is racist. Everything is homophobic. And you have to point it all out. No, I don't want to. Here we go. Well-known Polygon writer Arthur Guise uh, claims Hard R must have been intentional in Stellar Blade. His other famous opinions include Bayonetta is sexist and awful. Witcher 3 is also the same. So yes, this Arthur Guise, yeah, is probably half a disguise of half the guys. But that's a real shame. I think the pre-orders for this title was absolutely just going you know, yeah it was just it was just at a roller coaster pace wasn't it and sadly now folks i am guess we'll never know you know what might have been if it just if no one had bothered to sit there and call it out it's just so annoying so on that one ladies and gentlemen i've got a bit of the older tears going on here i really i might still play stellar blade but like i said i've got technical issues with my setup at the moment anyway and uh, i'll see if there's another way to solve it but honestly i might just cancel my pre-order anyway because again who knows you know the cancellation it might force sony to go against their opinion or their decision and have everything reinstated but somebody at sony must have sat there and watched all of the gameplay. Did the graffiti fly by them? Did they just not care? It's so bizarre because all the focus was on the sexual objectivity of Eve and the other female protagonists in Stellar Blade. So, man, I tell you what, guys, this is just uh, this has been a weird day, man. Strange things have been afoot at the Circle K, and uh, this is one of them. It's just, man. I really have nothing more to say on this one, folks. So if I were you and if you were me, you might want to come back for the next video.